Hello, welcome to my channel, Lady D. This will be my prediction video for Canadian, so for Canada. So with um, this, so last time I did this video, we had the truckers. So I knew where I was going to channel and what I was looking at. This time I was like unsure and I did a lot of, I looked up to see what the main issues for, Can, um, for Canadians. And it just seems like the main issues are the same as what I'm dealing here with with here in Australia in terms of our leader, um, who's in power, and what's sort of going on in the country. So I did get some predictions. When we look at your Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, um, now, and I looked at when you're going to have your next election. So on I googled it. So it said that it has to be by the 20th of October, 2025. And I did ask um, how many times he'd be in power, and I got I got two, and I feel like he, I, I think I checked, did check, and he has been in power in two times. And I asked, would he, I mean, would he make it for a third? I got a no. I don't feel like he's going to make three terms um, or make um, get the next election. I feel no. I was kind of worried, and I was hesitating in making this video until I sort of looked up when your next election was, simply because... Um, he does have some good transits coming up in his astrology chart that's it's coming up um, next year for him. So, so I'm kind of glad that you're not going to the polls until 2025 in October. So basically uh, with his chart, he's got, especially um, right now, he has Jupiter in the 9th and that's going to be there until uh, June next year and then it's in his 10th house. And just as it goes into the 10th house, it's going to hit Saturn. So it's luck with a problem. Um, and then in the 10th house, it's luck with his career. So next year for him, uh, he actually, where whatever he's doing, he may get more popularity. But whatever he's doing, it's going to be luck with his career next year. Um, which is not what you wanted to hear. But it moves out of there by June 25. So by when times for your election to come up. Um, we've got Jupiter in his 11th house and it's over halfway in his 11th house and the 11th house is to his friends so it's about him being more being more social meeting new people meeting new friends basically luck with friendships which leaves his 10th house clear and it also leaves Uranus just about to just coming into this house and actually on this day we have Uranus um, over Saturn which is, which is unexpected even unusual problems coming up for him then in 2025 which is kind of what you want and it's unexpected in the career so unexpected twists and turns anything could happen I don't feel like he's going to get re-elected again when I was asking I was sort of getting a no and just with the chart it's um, he's going to have well he's born with Saturn in the tenth, so he's always got problems with his career anyway. When jobs that he does, and he changes them anyway, he's always changing them. He's probably done many different things, um, and unexpected things do happen for him with his work and how he earns his money. At the moment, the Jupiter is in the ninth, so from now until June next year, it's all about travel for him, and perhaps more studying. Um, and if he's studying, I dare say it's 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 something to do with China. Because I still, and I think I got that in my last video with this with um Canada, like with his relationship with China, and that came up again. And I was, when I was looking at him uh, last night, he's also got Chiron right now, still near the moon, so it's still problems around home. His emotions not feeling the best right now, um, but he's actually got Neptune moving in to this eighth house so it's coming out of the, the seventh it may go back in there actually by the um with this retrograde of um, neptune if it does but anyway it's in the eighth as well so it's dissolved with money he's losing money so i dare say with his divorce he's going to be losing a lot of money because it's still chiron in that house by 225 chirons are emotional pain it's not a great planet that's going to be more in his ninth so not good time for traveling and then he's going to have Neptune in the 8th. So again, like the money, he's probably going to be losing a lot of money coming up here. And right over the on this election day, if it is on the 20th of October, he's actually got Neptune over um, 
over Mars, which actually is dissolved in anger. He probably won't get angry if he loses. He won't be as angry as if he was. And then he's got Saturn just about to come into the eighth house as well. So I don't think the astrology kind of says no. I say no, he's not going to get in again, which I think most of you that view it, that view it that aren't, you know, that don't like him, um, it's, it's a good thing. But I will do cards for him um, as well. So I will do some cards with him now and then we'll go through my other predictions that I was go that I've gotten here. I do have a So what I feel like is coming up with the cards for him. I feel like he's trying to engage with people and that he's trying to listen to people but he's not really listening to people. I feel like he's a very stubborn person. Like we are he actually he's a Capricorn. Oh he's got the Aries moon. So he's gonna be argumentative argumentative and think he's always right but that does have leadership qualities there um the capricorn is about getting work done and endurance but i feel like i just feel like he doesn't listen to people he's not really like listening to what's really going on there i also feel like he's trying to put pressure or he's trying to put pressure or squeeze like people here so it might be just like squeezing like people like tolerances or, or just making it uncomfortable for people as well He's also, I feel like, for him, I kind of feel like he's, the way that he's showing is that he's not gotten a care in the world, that, you know, things are going going really well for him. Um, but he's got his eye or sharp, sharp eye on everything that's sort of going on around. I do feel like that he's been manipulated or he's blinded here because um, one of the things I was getting with him was that I did get that again handshake with china i'm pretty sure about that again like last time with him but then i also saw handcuffs but it's through the china so i don't know if he's doing dodgy deals with china and it's going to come to light or if he, there is something of china is gonna be ticked off with him i'm not sure but it was like i saw a handshake and then handcuffs on him but something to do with china i felt china and um, I remember I got something about that like that last time when I did did this video for Ken, um, for Canada. But he's very strategic in how he does things, how he moves things around. He is, I feel like in this card, he is a bit of the snake. So I feel like there is a thing of distrust with him as well. He can't handle money either with him. He gets a bit emotional with money and other people's money. He can't handle money very well um, with him either and I mean his life lessons to do with relationships and children but I feel like this is where the China thing's coming in here it's like he's blinded but also maybe he feels like they that he's protected by them but can't we really see and also I feel like maybe they're pulling the strings a little bit as well with him but it's like he has no care in the world at the same time there is a, a thing of I feel like he's getting he's getting a lot of money here I do feel like that he's there's some sort of money coming in here and like he's showing for joy because I don't know if it's P taxpayers' money or he's being paid off. There's there is cards that indicate here to me that he feels like he's in control. He's very much got the power here. And he's trying to really act humble, but he's not humble. He hides his feelings. I've also got here with this this fire. To me, there I feel like there is some sad news coming to him, or there is some sadness, but he hides it. He hides what gets him down, and he tries to play it very smooth. Is what I feel with him as well. He's a um, non-negotiable leader. If you don't do what he says, I do feel like he kind of like really makes things difficult for people. And then also with him um, too, so. I also got here um, Justin Nervitz. Okay, it's one last time I got to um, where he'd be, he's going to be nervous in regards to his wife, like tell all. So I don't know if his wife's going to do an interview or she's going to disclose anything. Because I feel like there's a bit of damage control here. So I feel like, and I mean, even when I look um, at the chart here, there's still issues that is going on at home and also with relationships because he has that sudden in his uh, seventh house as well currently was just actually come into the seventh house oh no it's sorry it's been there for a while but it's retrograding back into the sixth moving next year back into the seventh 
So there are problems there with him in his marriage, and I know it's just got broken up. But I was getting that, yeah, perhaps she's going to do some sort of tell all, and I like damage control, and I feel like that's going to make him very nervous about that. Who knows with this Mercury retrograde that we're in at the moment as well with him. Um, okay, what sort have of I got with him? The thing that I would see with him too is that I keep on seeing, I think again, I got this last time as well, about a female politician pushing back. So, and I feel like she had blonde hair. Then I googled um, female politicians and I just, as a few of them you have with blonde hair, I kind of felt bob. So there was one there with a bob that might maybe it. But I just feel like um, I felt a female blonde hair and she's pushing back at him because the opposition leader that you have, he doesn't look that strong. So I don't really want to comment if, if he on his chart or anything yet. I'm going to wait and just see if he's still going to be the leader when it comes up to your election. So I will just try and keep, remember, keep an ear out and hopefully I'll even find out through my media over here in Australia. But he doesn't look like a strong character to me. So he's in the 3rd of June. So we're looking at a Gemini. Gemini. So they actually are fun social people. They're actually youthful people. So um, they're my favorite star signs. So I'm going to leave him though, um, leave him. But I just feel like a lot of it in the cards is it's very much like he's in denial. He's sort of doing his own thing. He seems engaging but he's not. He's also I feel like lost something and he's trying to run out. This to me is like you've lost something, you're trying to run after it or you're running away, like abandoning like a ship um, with this as well. But again, there's like ravens in here or um, crows, we call them here, which to me is it's protect, sign of protection. But it is about, there is something here about pulling, putting out fires. So I do feel like there's going to be some sort of damage control or putting out fires with him too. Um, he's just not, he's just not um, great, but he thinks he's in control with him. Okay, let's see what else have I got here. Okay, so I've got here um, money being taken. Okay, we him too. All right, so I've got. With your fires, I saw money being taken back. So I feel like I had a feeling it was kind of be like kind of stuff happened here in Australia when we had our floods. It was like the government promised money or those things that are being promised uh, to do with the help of people's houses, but it's going to be be taken back. So it's like money being taken back and to do with the bushfire. So it's like give a hand out, but then um, somehow gets comes back. It's like broken promise, something about a broken promise, and it's to do with money, to do with the fires. So I did get that, um, and I feel something about the water contamination. I was seeing like I know you guys have like a big, there's a big lake in Canada, um, in one part, and I was seeing like water contamination. So I do feel like maybe there's going to be something about water can like with your water there, but it's like a big lake. I don't know if it's if. I kind of feel like it's the it's an important one like I should have looked that up before I did the video but I um it's not Salt Lake City it's America but I just saw the water and the same about contaminating the water there now so hot heat wave now I don't know if that's in terms of what's happening now there with your fires or if that's happening next summer but I was getting some sort of like very very hot heat wave too and the economy Okay, so with the economy, and um, I'll do cards on that later on too in the video, it was like a hole, so money going down the, the drain hole. So I feel like your economy is not going to get um, better, like it's not going to improve. I do feel like it may hold on with this um, Jupiter in Taurus, so more next year. I do feel like the world's economy next year is when everything's going to just fall down when we do get Jupiter moving out of Taurus into Gemini. Okay, rainbow flag. So more rights. Okay, so I feel like I saw the rainbow flag. So the flag about the, and I'm going to say this wrong, the G, the Q, um, the Q, the transgender, gay, lesbian, that, um, and I always get mixed up with what it, with, with that, um, I'm thinking, remember what it's called. 
but I just feel like with the rainbow flag community, I'm going to say rainbow flag community, I know that's politically not correct, but I'm going to say that because I forget the acronym for it. I feel like there's more rights to do with them or to do, well, I don't know there's actually a new flag actually because they've added more to it. So it's a, actually a new flag. But with that, I do feel like there's more rights, but it's about children having a voice. And I kind of feel like I saw them wanting to give children tablets. So that could be with the whole, again, with what's happening around the world when they're suggesting children to take sort of hormones. So that's the kind of thing that I was kind of feeling with that. But like, but it was more right though with um, the that group with the rainbow flag. Okay, now I also see. Okay, mud doesn't stick. Okay, more protests, and again, this is to do with uh, Justin Trudeau. So more protests, but mud doesn't stick to him. So it, it was a bit of time, but mud doesn't stick. But something about more protests as well. Um, so we got here. Bushland being sold. So I do feel like I'm getting a big storm here myself. So I feel like some of your bushland is going to be sold off there. Crazy winter storms. Okay, so I saw like a blizzard and I could see like a polar bear in this blizzard. So I just feel like it's going to be some crazy um, in your winter. So the big storms that are coming up here. Send people into space. Question mark. I'm not even sure if you guys have a space program, but. Um, sending people into space whether or not you're going to do that I, I don't know like I don't I mean you might but I don't think you have like a rocket from there so maybe you might send a different country like America to go up but it's about sending just what I just what I got um, and I got here okay this is where I feel like you guys are gonna have similar issues to what I'm facing here so I'm assuming because when I was looking that um, your position leader is the like a liberal because he's a conservative leader, to which over here for me it's like a liberal. So therefore he must be Labour, which is more your, um, not from the, from more the left side of the government. Okay, so with that I got like the voice, so over here they were having a referendum called The Voice, and it's to do with changing our constitution. Um, to do with our indigenous people that are here. I feel like you're going to have a similar thing over there. Um, and like, there's going to be a yes, no, no yes, no vote. So um, I feel like this is going to happen. Some sort of like similar situation thing that I'm dealing with here that you're going to have over there to do with your um, indigenous people that are there. And I don't know your history that well. I don't really know the issues, but that's what I was kind of seeing what was happening here to happen over there okay digital currency bitcoin cashless people say no so I do feel like yeah that they're going to make a digital currency so like a bitcoin or something like maybe a canadian one but people are going to say no and I was actually seeing people um like in the protest like like no I so saw like the no banners and more people were joining up the no banners too Sorry, kitty cat. My cat's just freaking out with this storm. So, my new cat. Um, oh, she's not new. Okay, so we've got here more on climate change. People people go cold. So I feel like there's going to be a lot more with the climate change, and it could affect like energy sources. And I just saw people getting really cold, so they may turn off um, energy or. You might not have a lot of power supply or something to do your power supply because it's like cold, but it's to do with the climate change or more on climate change coming up here. Okay, more people coming to the no side. And I feel like the no, that also is generally when things are going against the government. I feel like generally it's also a no um, for people who are going against the government. People are more going to be joining that camp against your leader. People wanting more change. Um, for the better, um, who want more change? For the better, people not being listened to by the government, only small number. Okay, so yeah, I feel like that what you're going through, let's say with him not listening to you and the government in general not listening to the people. So I do feel like more people, it's just, it's going to go momentum there. More people going to want change. More people against the government. 
there's going to be like an uprising here and I feel like that there's only a small number of, gov of people in the government there who are listening to you so again a similar thing what I've got here happening here in Australia but for the people it's going to get bigger of people wanting more change and that could be his downfall too so we've got here strengthening ties with US and UK so if that's some coming up there um, Sal with China so I feel like he's whatever he's going to, and whatever he's doing with China why I keep on getting that I don't know but I do feel like that's going to go sour so that could be exposed um, some coming up with that okay and then I was seeing India as well so I don't know if you guys are doing a deal with India too or something but I just saw India and the their their prime minister slash president um so i'm not sure what's if they're gonna make a visit or if it's like yeah it's something about india so i didn't really understand i just sort of see jigsaw puzzle pieces when you go to a, a psychic and i'm trying to fit them in okay so we've got here housing crisis um get um worse people are homeless living in cars and can't afford rent not enough community housing so i felt like that your community community housing over there that is not enough and i was told that there's some sort of housing crisis getting worse and people have to live in cars because they can't afford rent so i just feel like your crisis of living is just gonna go up more and i just feel like in generally like again once this jupiter moves out and moves into gemini you're gonna find that the pricing of housing is probably will go down more than it would go up okay and then i feel like like australia bill okay so i feel like he may do some sort of bill like they were promising here in australia but the bill it's like not great or it won't solve the problem so i feel like there's going to be some something there to try and solve it but it's not going to be as good okay the polar bear is being trapped protected i saw like a jail a polar bear in like a jail cell so and then i was like a polar bears in canada so i googled that and i found out they were polar bears in canada so i just feel like um there could be um you're trying to protect them more or do something to, to protect the polar bears coming up here got here winter olympics so ice skating tourism push so they're going to be a tourism push and i feel like you guys might end up getting the winter olympics hosting it maybe not the upcoming one i had a look and you guys weren't on the agenda for the olympics but this could be something that comes up um where you guys do able to host uh winter games because I, I see ice skating so i do feel like more winter games and summer games and a bit of tourism push okay grab cash uh so the government okay housing prices go uh, going up um mid 24 and then smash down so i just feel like they're going to be when the house price is going up when they come down it's going to smash come down but some sort of cash grab for the government as well that i saw two okay government uh government owned home okay so i feel like there's going to be again something like they're going to introduce wanting to introduce here where the government owns part of so when you buy a house the government will own part of your house that may happen over there too i just feel like there's going to be a similarity what i'm going through here over there female units i've got that um and i just got that's him like being in charge so that's my sort of predictions that i was getting for you guys um i will do just cards just on canada and your economy and We'll just focus on Canada and Canada Cop and economy themselves. Let's have a quick look. I do feel like a thing about taking bound or breaking through boundaries as well. So I feel like also what's coming up around the world, we're all going to go through it. So with this stuff that's coming up, 
we're all going to go through similar things no matter where you are because I, I still feel like that my world prediction um i still feel like it's coming up i just don't know of a timeline but i do feel like it is it is coming up okay what's happening with the can because even here there's fighting here and that could be with the government it could be like people could be the war that i that i do see and that if it is what i do see for the world that will also be why the um relationship with china would go sour too okay i feel like there is a, a, some good cards here there is a, a sense of like a waiting game like you're maybe you're waiting for your next leader to come in this is to me card this, this card to me is like you got your bags packed you're ready to go you're ready for the new change or the, the new thing to come in but you're in this little, like waiting like a hospital um waiting room for this card it's like you're, you're waiting for change and you're waiting for something more inspirational to come in or someone inspirational to come in you guys are waiting for something that's going to reunite the collective as well um i feel like that there's there is a sense of people just wanting more freedom less isolation but more rights and more rights where they are too i do feel like though once change happens there it's like it can't go back so this card to me is about it, it just can't go back and i feel like this is about the people wanting like wanting like the new things are not going to give up and people are going to keep on going to me that card's about goals it's about you know attending to them really making them stand out and making things happen as like i said there are some good good cards here so i do feel like with in a couple of years time when you guys get a new leader there is a sense here where people getting along and people being united but everything sort of calming down there even could be a thing of people even looking for new places to live looking at all their options coming up as well the economy themselves i don't feel like it's good i do feel like it's gone more down than up as i said everything's sort of been propped up i mean with the planets so you're probably going to see more happening next year once jupiter does leave taurus that's so for the world but i do feel like he he's actually quite proud because i do feel like he's quite proud of the country there um but he just has really he, he he's just not trustworthy as well to be able to go to go further um and i feel like this is with him but sitting on the money all the money here and I feel like he's got everything in control um but i feel like i just feel like the, could be the next person you're in charge could be a female there's female energy here that's going against him and it's kind of like what i see but at the same time if everyone has to be patient there you gotta be patient for the, the this card to me is also about being patient and as a nation you are stronger than what you think you are and you are ready to fight back and you are ready to move forward and to have new new stories and new things evolve you're just in this it's just like you're in this waiting game um so you know, just hold on tight change will always happen and as i said we're going through similar things around the world as i said i kind of felt like it was just similar things that i'm going through here in australia um so i hope that this video kind of helps you and gives you a bit of hope of what's to come um and we'll just see what happens around the world um but thank you i'll leave it there because video is getting a bit long now but thank you for your like shares and your comments and i will see you uh, for my next video so um i hope if i have missed anything please put in the comments and i may do a small video just to address them um but, uh, if there's anything that i've missed or anything that you want to know um because this video is getting a bit long and i will address them in the comments or i'll make a short video about whatever what comments you're putting down there just remember i don't i'm from australia and i don't know a lot about your history or about what happens in canada I only kind of was looking at last night what i was looking up um but uh, anyway i hope i've helped you so thank you for your likes shares and your comments and i will see you for my next video so bye for now